Now let's dive in and take a look at what keywords are and where we're going to find the specific ones that will power our Amazon listings, helping us become discovered by customers who are going to put money in our bank accounts. Keywords are absolutely critical to your success on Amazon or on any other e-commerce marketplace or website for that matter. They are phrases or individual words that customers type into a search engine such as Google or on Amazon to find specific products. It's up to us as the seller to find out what keywords customers are currently using to find the products that we have for sale on Amazon. Because we've completed our research based on demand, or in other words, on what customers are actively buying right now, we simply need to figure out what words those customers are currently using to find the products that are currently available on Amazon, as well as trying to find lesser used keywords that can help us pick up additional sales. I'll talk about how to find these keywords in a moment. The main problem with keywords on marketplaces is that many less scrupulous sellers abuse them, stuffing their product titles with ridiculous amounts of keywords in the hope of picking up sales. I'm not going to keyword stuff because it's extremely poor practice and Amazon are actively cracking down on this as we speak. The litmus test for keywords is this. Does it help customers find what they want? If it does, then you'll be absolutely fine. After all, if you can help Amazon give their customers a great experience, and remember, they are their customers, then they'll help you give the business that you require back. Let's answer the question you're likely asking yourself right now. How do I find the keywords that will help customers find my products? There are three main methods of finding the keywords that are going to power your listings. We tend to focus on the first two. The first method that I recommend is to search competitor listings on Amazon, noting down the keywords that they're using. If you see sellers using the same keywords in each of the titles, let's say the top 10 sellers mention pool rake as a keyword, then you'll want to include those within your title. If of course you are selling pool rakes. We call this repeated phrase a primary keyword. This is driving most of the traffic on Amazon. Therefore, you're going to want to mention it in your title. If we only used a primary keyword, our title would be pretty short. Therefore, we want to find what are called secondary keywords that can fill in our title and bring in even more customers to our listing who are searching using the secondary keywords. To find secondary keywords, you can use the same method that you've just used finding the primary keyword. It's essentially the second most used keyword you will see successful sellers using. The first thing before deciding on primary and secondary keywords is to make a list of every keyword you find using the competitor listing approach. We can pare down that list later on. After you've exhausted this method, finding as many relevant keywords as possible, you'll then use the Amazon suggestion tool that's similar to Google's auto suggest function, whereby as you type keywords into the search bar, Amazon will suggest searches that other customers completed on the site. Google operates in the same way. When you type something into Google, you'll see a lot of different options become available, and I'll show you that in a moment. This is incredibly useful because it tells us what customers are actually typing into the search bar to find the products that they are looking for on Amazon. We add this suggested list of keywords to the list we started using the competitor listings method. The third method is one that I don't use very often as I can generally find more than enough useful keywords using methods one and two. You can subscribe to third party services such as Merchant Words to access keywords that customers have actually searched for on Amazon to find specific products. You can go to merchantwords.com if you want to use this optional paid service. You can even use Google's Keyword Planner to see what keywords people are searching for on Google to find these products. But as I said, I don't use this method because I can usually find enough keywords using methods one and two, and this third party method tends to duplicate what we can already find. I will now demonstrate on Amazon.com how to find keywords to power your listings. Firstly, I will demonstrate the competitor listing method. Let's type in the pool rake as an example. This is the search results page for the search term pool rake. These results are not ideal for what we want to do because they're not sorted as bestsellers. We want to click on the subcategory here in the left margin underneath the patio lawn and garden category that says pool rakes, skimmers and nets. This will give us the best selling products in this subcategory. What I recommend doing is opening new tabs for all of the different products that are related to the pool rake that we are selling. 
what you can do is create a document in Word or Google Docs to create a list of keywords. Let's look at one of the pool rake listings. So we have pool skimmer net leaf rake with deep bag and we've got pool leaf skimmer net rake and we've got pool net leaf skimmer rake. So the primary keyword looks like pool rake or pool skimmer. I will add pool rake to my Google Doc and also add skimmer. We don't need to say pool skimmer because we don't want to repeat any words in our title. We can also mention that leaf is important as well. Heavy duty seems to be a popular keyword. So we can add that to the list. And mesh nets seems to be another keyword used in this listing. And it's also used in this listing as well. So we'll add that to our list. So these are examples of keywords that we can add to our keyword list. We just keep going through the different listings to find more and more keywords to add to this list. We can add swimming to the list. It is mentioned here. And in this listing. Deep is another keyword mentioned in this listing. So I have demonstrated how you can keep going and find more of these kinds of keywords pretty easily. So this is the first method using the competitors listings. I will now demonstrate the second method at amazon.com using the Amazon suggestion tool method. So the way this works is we start typing pool rake into the search bar and we will see some suggestions of keywords that Amazon customers are using when typing in pool rake. You can see pool rake net, pool rake with pole, pool rake fine mesh. We can now go into the keyword list and add with pole and fine. You can also try typing in pool skimmer into the Amazon search bar and see if any of the keywords suggested are relevant to the product that we are selling. If they are, we just add them to the keyword list. The final method is the optional method and one that I don't use very often. It is the third party services method. You can use a tool at merchantwords.com to do this. If you want to sign up, you can use this optional tool in the beginning when you only have a few products, the price of the monthly subscription probably makes this tool not worth it for you. But as you get more and more products, it might be something you want to use when you have more research to do.